Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today is quite a special day and it's one I've been quite excited for as Airfix have announced their new 2018 releases. So in this video we're going to go through some of the ones that I'm most looking forward to. Um, all pictures in the video are off the Airfix website so they're credited to them. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you're excited as I am for some of these new releases. So to kick this off, um, we're going to start off with Airfix's new Lancaster. Um, this looks like it's going to be a rebox of the last kit they did, uh, which was a fantastic new tool kit they did, um, just with a new set of decals. Uh, the decals that come with this one are 467 Royal Australian Air Force and 57 Squadron as well. Um, this is going to be quite an interesting kit and it's definitely one I'm going to get as... 57 Squadron were based at Scampton and East Kirkby, which some of you may know is the home of the Lancaster Just Jane, the only one that only taxis at the moment. And 467 Squadron were based at Scampton, Waddington and Metheringham. And I grew up just around the corner from Metheringham, so that's, that's quite close to home for me. Uh, next up, we've got a Hawker Hunter in 148 scale. Um, as you can see from the CAD renders here, this kit looks like it's going to be awesome. Um, it just looks like it's going to be loads of detail in the cockpit, and the external detail is going to be fantastic as well. Uh, I've just put one of the uh, colour schemes up. It's probably the one that, if I got the kit, that's one I'm going to do. It's got nice bold red colours all over it on the tailplane. <clears throat> Late last year, um, Airfix did announce they were going to be doing a new 172nd Wellington. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, here is one of the CAD renders of it. Uh, it's got fully opened uh, door, uh, bomb bay doors. Lots of detail inside there, including crew ladders. Uh, the inside looks like it's going to be fantastic to do. And this is coming in two decal options. Uh, both black on the side and green and brown on the top. Pretty standard for bomber command. Next up is a 148-109. Those who have done the Airfix's 172nd 109 will recognise this, de uh, this decal and marking scheme. This is Von Vera's aircraft, which is the same one they had in the 72nd kit. It also comes with a night fighter scheme, and it comes as a Yugoslav Air Force scheme as well. This will probably be a rebox with new decals of their, their current 48th 109. Next up is the 262. Airfix released the 262A last year. That was a brilliant kit. I've actually got that. Still need to build it. This one looks to come as a two-seater and as a Nash Diego, which is a night hunter or night fighter. Uh, the CAD render for this looks awesome. It's got lo new parts, which would be the uh, night, fighting, <coughs> night fighter aerials that sit on the nose and also the fuel tanks as well. Looks like it's got a different fuselage uh, and a space for two seats inside as well. It'll also come as another decal option as a Czechoslovakian uh, option as well. They're also releasing a Tiger Moth as well. I'm hoping this can be a new toolkit. This is an awesome little trainer aircraft, and this is going to come in two different decal options as well. Uh, one of them is in Royal Australian Air Force, I believe. And then finally, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is this. They're releasing the B-26 Marauder. And not only just doing the Marauder, they're doing it with two absolutely awesome colour schemes. One in natural metal finish with a huge angry looking shark's mouth thing at the front. It, it, it looks really angry. It looks like a great kit. Uh, that's got invasion stripes on it and a yellow band across the tail. And they're also doing it as uh, an olive drab and neutral grey version called flak bait that looks like it's going to be a really really good kit that I'm definitely looking forward to this, uh, this coming year so that's a quick rundown of the new release I'm most looking forward to in 2018 uh, check out Airfix's website there's a whole host of another new stuff they're doing on there as well um, something that everyone to be excited about they're also releasing a lot of 172nd soldiers again so such as the Africa Corps uh, 8th Army and US Marines that they did years ago. I don't know if they're new tooled yet or not, but I have to have a good look at them and see if they are. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what your favorite new releases are gonna be this year by Airfix. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe.